careless, careless in things where I'm concerned. Are you just careless as you see? Thank you. 
remember we went up in the chambers and the manager said, yeah, sure, I'll get it up for you. You'll have to give me two or three days because it's right down in the earth there. It hasn't been used for years. And so when I came on the appointed morning, the organ was up. They switched the wind on and, oh, God, it was <laughs> all over the place. You had to use every stop because where one note was off, another stop covered up and so on and so forth. And after all this, the engineer of the theatre took me up into the organ chambers, which is up in the roof, you know, and nobody had been in there for, for years, but the heating was still on, extraordinary. And the dust, you know, an inch thick. And uh, some of the pipes were hanging over, the metal pipes were hanging over like fallen trees. Before I could stop him, this engineer fellow went to one to straighten it up, and uh, I yelled, ah, no, 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 but it's too late, he quickly broke it off.
ladies and gentlemen, the organist entertains. And a big hello from your old organ grinder friend, Robin Richmond. I've only made, I've made quite a few records one way or another. There may be one or two old 78s and not too bad. But the only two that I've ever made that are any good were on the DJM label, one in uh, Les Rawls' house. Yeah. But the best of all, of course, I like was the Hollywood Years on the first with Wurlitzer. Uh, that was fine. Because Wunderlich was an original, except that he made the organ sound like an orchestra, which is stupid to do, 
Whenever I play an electronic, I always tell the audience, I say the makers have spent millions of pounds uh, and millions of hours work technically getting this thing to sound like a trombone or a trumpet or a piano, and I've spent many hours of rehearsal trying to make it sound back again like a theatre organ. But if you want to listen to a trumpet, why not get a trumpeter to play for you? Why have an automatic thing? And I think it's taken all the fun out of playing, all the fun out of listening. And the only reason for this was to satisfy the technical brains and, of course, the organ dealers up and down the country. They'll, they'll skin me for saying this, but I don't care. And uh, sell their organs. What can we do next, you see? Um, but even though they're killing that now, because they're getting so damn complicated that Unless you're a trained electronic engineer or computer operator, you can't operate those things properly. When I was with the Beeb, uh, doing the organist entertained, I was called to a review board one day, uh, wearing my producer's hat, and that's where uh, all the VIPs take you by surprise and they have a recording of your program and they criticize it. So I looked on the program and thought, oh, all right, it's a good one, and uh, Brian Sharp was on it. So uh, at the review board, they came to this Brian Sharp recording, you see, and they all stopped saying, hmm, yes. <laughs> Uh, and it's silent. And he said, what's this doing in the program, Mr. Richmond? I said, well, what do you mean, what's it doing? I thought it was damn good, so I put it in. Oh, yes, it's damn good, all right, but uh, this is an organ program. They said, this is an organ. I said, of course it's an organ. It, it, it's the operator, you know, roll it back, will you? Said, this is an organ. I said, yes. Oh, I say, John, we, well, we've got to have this fellow in other programs in South Africa. Oh, it's jolly good, this, you see. So there we are. They liked it because it didn't sound like an organ. So what do you do about it all? But the trouble with recording is that they don't give you a chance. Now that uh, Grosvenor record, with due respect to uh, John, is a, a splendid fellow, uh, runs the studios there. I arrived just before lunch. I, I arrived early in the morning actually, but the morning was taken up taking that photograph of me in the red thing. And then we had a very nice lunch, and then we started to record about half past two, and about half past four, I was worn out and it was finished, and that was it. And that was a record. Well, I mean, proper professionals and the Yanks, they take maybe a day or two days over one track, let alone a record. So, um, therefore, uh, that Grosvenor record that I made, I uh, didn't, wasn't at all satisfied with it. I'm my own hardest critic. There we are.